everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's the Raiders going up against the Chiefs. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this Week 7 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Kickoff looming in this AFC West matchup as we join you from O.Co. Coliseum. Down on the sidelines, there's Andy Reid. His team is trying to bounce back today after suffering a loss last week. And on the other side, we have the Raiders head coach. They've had more positives than negatives to this point. Four and two on the season. Moore's the deep back for the opening kick. Allen set now for the opening kickoff. category top 10 right now in the league when it comes to the fewest picks thrown it's first down as they head to the line Ready, fair, 18, baby, alert, alert. tight end Zebra. in motion Zebra. first down at the 28 Ellington's got it on the handoff up the first down. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. Offense lines up here. With two hands, he has it. And the flag is down. That's a face mask call, and of course, from now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players right, tackle Wide too high. Get your Wide arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. The Raiders snap it at the 31. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. And now a look at the Raiders offense. This is an efficient group. Last week turning the football over just once. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Two tight ends on the field here. Trying to beat the play clock. Looking across the middle. Tompkins tackled down. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. Heading to the line for a third down play. And this was something they specialized in last week. Converting in these situations. All right, here we go. Offense wow, lines up alert. here. Alert. Hey. Ellington's handed the football. Tackles made and got to move the chains. The offense has done a good job. They're now down inside the 20. But here's where it gets tough. Because your plays are limited because the field has been shrunk. First down here after the run. Ellington's lined up as the single back. Will go ground. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And now here.
there's the Chiefs defense. They have to put some pressure on the quarterback this week, as last week they did not have a single sack. Second and 11. Throw to the left. Finds Cobb. That's a gain of eight. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the complete. Ellington. Gets the handle here. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Should be an easy here. Drives it through. No goal. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you've got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces Here comes the quarterback by way. University of Missouri, Chase Daniel. First down here. Passing down, comes out in the nickel. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Caught as the first. The slant route made famous West Coast offense, something that really thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the in 1979. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Jamal Charles in the backfield. Will run it. Here's the handoff. Charles is brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. The Chiefs offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by the excellent planning and awesome execution. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Rodgers lined up now as a slot receiver. And they'll run the football with Charles trying to find an opening to the right. And now we'll look at the Chiefs offense. A paucity of points on the season. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Ball start on the offense. We'll set them back. Ball start offense. And now, after the penalty, it's second down and 15. Offense lines up here. Midway through the first. Draw. Got a big lane. Lewis there to take him down. Davis is the guy, anytime he gets a chance to get in the secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still well done. Third and four. On the money. Charging ahead. There's no doubt, time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. First down here after the completion. He'll take the snap from the gun. Got the completion. Tackles made. Catches made 
When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Chiefs line up in the pistol. There's a momentum killer right there. The flag comes out. I think we have a false start. Boy, coaches talk about it so much. Penalties before the snap of the ball. we got to avoid them. And the biggest one of all is the false start. The Chiefs decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Play fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted that time. And now, here's the Raiders line up on defense. They have been shredded this year by opposing quarterbacks who have found a way to beat up on this secondary. Second down after the incompletion. Rodgers in the slot. From the gun. Throws the pass. Has his man. And that's a gain of maybe five. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Takes it from the gun. Reception. That's a gain. By the defense. So they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Looks like a false start penalty. False start offense. Lining up here, looking to tie the game on this field goal try. is through for three. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here we go. Tight ends in motion Zebra. here. Zebra. Ellington's taking the handoff. Has 12 on this play. Ellington's going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific. And he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense right, lines up here. Red 18, red 18. Play clock's running down. No room to complete that one. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. That's second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Ready? Wide and yank. Wide and yank. Will go ground. Ellington inside. And he gains maybe three.
third down on the way. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space. And sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Carter selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Jones is going to get set we in the slot Fred for this 18. snap. Fred, 18. Ellington's going to take the handoff now. He's brought down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down now. Carr's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. They want to keep feeding him the football. Brought down at the 20. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and six. Keeps it here. That ball has been picked off. He stacked up at that point. One quarter complete. And we'll take a break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade. Win from within. They bring in the extra tight end. Still got it after the play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Winslow's tackled down at the 43. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. That catch will extend the drive. Wide receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback. The Chiefs come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets them another first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. An extra tight end on the field for this one. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Stiff arm. Kansas City takes it across. Touchdown, Kansas City. When you talk about fast running backs, you don't have to give them a lot. Block them a little bit with his speed. He sees that opening, and he can make it happen. Takes it all the way for the touchdown run. The point after is good. Yeah. 
Chiefs getting set for kickoff. Moore's going to test the coverage here. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Raiders bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Offense lines up here. They send the tight end in motion. First down at the 18. Takes it on the counter. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Raiders were heartbroken last week, and they've set themselves up for another repeat feeling here today. Jim, this is what the NFL is all about. There are a lot of tight games, so when you get in situations like this, you can't crack under the pressure. And that's Johnson in on the stop. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. After that run, third and eight for the offense. Comes out in the pistol. A play running down. comes out. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face man. First and ten. Elling to secure the That'll put them in plus territory. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Offense lines up here. Second and two. To the ground. And a flag comes out. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. That's a face mask call. And, of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. You know, one thing, you know why we see a as penalties in the NFL now it's because players tackle too high. get your arms around the waist go down low to make those tackles and you wouldn't get those play number six coming up on this drive second down and ten the give out of the eye Good for only a yard. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Third down here. Offense trying to first. Nickel formation for the defense here. Looking long. Could have been intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. The kick is good. The kick is good from downtown. Well, if you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field.
The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. He'll take it from the four. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Chiefs are getting set for their next possession. The Chiefs will go with the pistol on this play. Let's go. The Chiefs from the 22. Jamal Charles carries the football. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be second down. The Chiefs in the pistol formation. Let's go! Jamal Charles. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Jim, in a situation like this, you just got to be smart. It's third long. You're winning the football game. Don't take any chances. Don't turn it over. If you punt it, that might be a good thing. Third and forever. Falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like three and out on this series. Defensive coordinator in this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Moore's got it now. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Moore is able to show off his talent on that pump return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. Offense lines up here. Keeps it on the fake. Barry with the good coverage that time to knock it away. That is so tough to do when you think about it. We got world-class sprinters running down the field, and you're able to stay close to them. Watch out with one hand, knock it down. Great play. Tight end in motion. The Raiders have it at the 44. Ellington's got it on the handoff. That's a tackle right near the 48. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays, Well, you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. It's third down coming up. Red, Offense red, lines 18, up here. Red, they better hurry to get the snap. Hey. He'll throw it over the middle. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick a three and out. They're in punting formation. He's got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. First down, offense readying for the snap. The Chiefs come to the line with an empty backfield from the gun. Justin Tuck has a sack. 
there's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. That leads us to second down. The Chiefs will approach this play from out of the pistol. Throws to the right, to Bo, and they are in on Bo. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. On the way, third down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Dropping back now into the shotgun. And he hauls it in. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, what you can do. Long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of Now they'll bring out Allen to punt. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Raiders get ready to start their drive. It's a two tight end formation. Hold on, baby. Alert. Alert. First down at the 20. To Tompkins. They tackle him at the 26 yard line. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They need to get the playoff. Ellington's handed the football. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Ellington's a great buddy back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down here after the run. Double tight end formation. Hold on, baby. Alert. Alert. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Well, Tim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Offense lines up here. We ready? The Raiders from the 32. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And picks up maybe three or four. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Third down. Cars setting up now in the pistol. The Raiders line up in the pistol offense. He's got the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. scrimmage first down the chief lined up in the pistol and he's down. well they made the mistake that time the quarterback or the running backs they go out on the pass the blitz comes by the defense not enough blockers on the offensive side and the defense wins out and they take the QB down
It's now second down. The Chiefs pistol set here. Hand off. That's a hit by Justin Tuck. Well, if you're the offensive coordinator here in a third long situation and you're winning the close game, you'd like to pick this up. But also, you got to make sure you call a play that doesn't put the offense at too much risk. Tough call coming up here for the coordinator. Third down now. Nickel formation here for the defense. Out of the eye formation is Charles. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. And they'll bring out Allen to punt. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to the studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Raiders are right in this game, though they haven't they control the pace. The Chiefs lead in time of possession, but it hasn't helped them dominate this game to this point. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Here they've got it at midfield. Charles found on the quick pass and catch, and he'll make it out to the 34-yard line. Raiders lined up at the 20. Carr is under fire and will throw the pick. Sanford's is happy to come away with the pick, and now following the pick, Daniels got the completion here, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 22. Offense now with the shot after the interception. Run play coming up here, and he'll take this 28 yards for the score. That puts them up by a touchdown. Sebastian Janicki lining up kickoff. And a here will bring the ball out to the 20. Chiefs now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Charles lined up in the backfield. Let's go! And now here's the first snap of the second half. And it's out of bounds incomplete. After the incomplete second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And they'll run the football with Charles. They deck him in the backfield. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. Now looking at third down. The defense comes out of the dime, out of the shotgun formation. He has the grab. Another third down failure. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not pick up first downs in these type of situations. Moore is going to look for space now. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. <laughs> First down on the way. Hey, we go Riley. Riley. Wide and yay. To Tompkins. That's a gain of six. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Second down coming up. 
right, here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Oh, it almost picked off that time. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Carr's going to be in the here pistol here. Why? Tight ends in motion here. Third down and four. Dives down, and that'll end the play. The Raiders did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. And he is tackled at the 44. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Here we go. Play action fake, looking to throw. Johnson's able to swat the pass away. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. The defense comes out in the nickel. Has the reception all alone. Nice job that time by the defense. Knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Chiefs offense now marches onto the field. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down at the 20. Looking across the middle, and incomplete. Tried to fit it into double coverage that time. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so so athletic. Go all out every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an effort. Jamal Charles in the backfield has his target that picks up well second down that time nice decision by the quarterback now they got it to third and short the defense in all against them of course now they don't know whether it's going to be or a pass. this is third down On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. That's a huge diversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. And now in consecutive games, we're seeing a passing attack that has some issues. Nothing there, Phil. Yeah, your confidence level has to be down in a situation like this, Jim. What you got to do is a you just got to hang there and be. And around. Charles lined up in the backfield. The Chiefs at the man gains about one. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down though. The Chiefs in the pistol. Let's go. Charles is handoff. Play at the interesting situation. The offense, they got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback. He has to be. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chance. 
the Chiefs out of the pistol. Anytime on third down, they make the play, uh, they get pretty up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy emotional defense. Now. Moore's got it on the return. Nice tackle. Very lucky that time on that pump return. The coverage was outstanding, and the returner's just lucky he didn't fumble the football. Two tight ends on the field here. Now first and ten. Throws the pass. He makes the catch. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. The Raiders have surprisingly fallen into a funk here with their passing game. Carr's got all the tools in the world but he's had consecutive off weeks. Yeah, when you have that kind of talent at the quarterback position, when it doesn't work, I know it's frustrating. You can almost see it when you watch him play. He's frustrated, can't quite understand why everything is not clicking. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. Get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. First down at the 42. Ellington's going to take the handoff now. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. And now they'll try over again on second down. Ellington is in the backfield. Finds Cobb. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. The Raiders now move the chains. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, this is a terrible job by the defense. Hey, we'll go around. Hold on, baby. Alert. Alert. Hey. First down at the 16. Ellington's going to secure the handoff. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Carr comes out in the pistol. Got the completion. Eric Berry comes up to make the play. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, but just not there. The coverage has been good and has been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. Trying to beat the play clock. Here, and he's in for the touchdown. Just an off the job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Clock's running down. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The 
Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Chiefs come out for the next possession. Rodgers lined up in the slot. First down and 10. It'll give it to Jamal Charles. He's tackled right at the 24. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down following the run. Charles is lined up in a single back formation. He'll throw it over the middle. Kelsey's got it. And a first. The Chiefs, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. First down here after the completion. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. Let's go! Right the right Jamal Charles carries the football. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. That's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to Oakland for the start of the fourth after this. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Almost intercepted. Second down following that incompletion. The Chiefs lined up. Everybody split three, out wide. Three. The Chiefs with an empty backfield look here. Drop back, shotgun formation. Launching it deep. Almost intercepted. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. Winslow's in the slot here for this play. Let's go. From the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Kevin Winslow with the catch. Well, they convert this time, but they've had a time all day long on third down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Let's go. Brought down after a gain of six. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. The injury appears to be a broken collarbone. He will not be returning to today's game. How about that run? Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown Chiefs. Chiefs. And while the team isn't going to flat out say he's out for the year, it does seem this injury may end his season. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Balls on the tee. Got a tie game now. The score's 17 to 17.
Chiefs getting set for kickoff. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down here. To Tompkins, and that's Barry in on the stop. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time down the field for another completion. Second down here. They bring in the extra tight end. Finds Cobb. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Ellington's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First down at the 32. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Coming up, second down. Ellington is in the backfield. Looking at Can't find the target on the pass underneath. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incomplete. Jones receiver in the slot. Cars in the gun. This pass is incomplete. That was thrown right to double. Coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do anything, and it's going to work at that time. And if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have a fair catch. Defense all around you. There was nowhere to go. They come out in the dime package. Let's go. Right the First and ten. Three. They bring him down at the 40 line. Well, I think this express seven time passing league so that be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs they're back at the line after that catch for a first down Offense lines up here, looking to go up top again on first down. Brings it into his body. Gains maybe five. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous in open space. And sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. First and ten. Jamal Charles. 
tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. Charles is able to get the job done and picks up the first down. Charles is a running back. After he makes a big run like this, he gets excited. He is just looking. First down here after the run. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Takes it from the eye. And that's a gain of nine. The Chiefs have frustrated opponents all season running the football. They've been almost unstoppable. Charles has again gotten the majority of the carries in a game where he's been a dominant running back. Oh the mentality of this football team on the offensive side they go in saying we are going to run it and the offensive line so physical once again they're getting it done second and short following the run makes the reception he's tackled beyond the markers it's a first down Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Eyeing that left side. Kevin Winslow with the catch. When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. The Raiders with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Charles, left side, picks up about two. The Chiefs have stayed with the run game today, and it's been a of their game plan. Charles has been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. Let's go! They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. This was going to happen, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must, must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout, and they fail to overturn the call on the field. You know what you do in situations like this? You fire the guy upstairs who told him, throw the flag, coach. Well, what do you got to say now? It was a terrible call, terrible decision. Good job. That the defense were bending. They did not break, and all they did was give up a field goal. They'll take it at the 20. The Raiders offense ready now to see what it can do. They send the tight end in motion. Now first and 10. Ellington's got him on the handle. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. The Chiefs all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. The play clock's running down. That's a mindless error on the offense.
following that penalty, it sets up second down and 17. Play action. Pulls it in. Going to be a penalty here. down coming up that was a big gainer now it's time to back it up they'll run it here and he is tackled at the 44 it's now second down and seven after the three yard rush Ellington's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Throws the pass. The catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Raiders look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. They better hurry to get the snap. Ellington's handed the football. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. And here at offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into that other defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. The Raiders will take the snap from the 35. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Raiders just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points, second half, every down is crucial. Nice job that time by the These guys need to make something happen on offense with time to getting the run out. First down and 10. Makes the reception. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. That time the quarterback throws the drag route. It doesn't get a first down, but still it's a good decision by him. The throw was right on target, and it picked up solid yards. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Welcome back, friends. The offense has the ball, trying to pull out a victory here with just two minutes to go. First down, pressure on every snap now. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. If you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down and five. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. Third and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. But the hit knocks the ball out. It's fourth down coming up, and of course, they are going to go for it here. Jim, go for it here on fourth down. What does the defense do? Do they play it conservative, or do they take a chance and really go after the offense to stop this fourth down play? So the offense does good work to drive down the field, get in position, and kick the field goal now to tie this game in the late stages. Yeah, and you know what's going to be fun from here on out is which team is willing to take a chance. Will the offense be aggressive? Will the defense take some chances? The one that's aggressive, I think that's the one that's going to win the game. The Chiefs come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The Chiefs at the 24. He's looking to the right here on this throw. 
When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. From the gun. Launches it down the field. Very nearly intercepted. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. That encroachment penalty gives the offense a free five yards. Yeah, when you play offense in the NFL, you take all the free yards you can get. That is a that's a, just a good break for the offense right there. A lot to overcome here, especially that penalty. And it's third down. This game is all tied up, and it's headed to the wire. Snap it out of the gun. The Chiefs get a first down. The Chiefs, one timeout remaining. The Chiefs head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. The Chiefs are at the scrimmage with a spread formation. They'll go shotgun here. Winslow's got it. First down. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. First down here after the completion. Rodgers lined up now as a slot Let's receiver. Go. From the shotgun. Catch made. Has enough for the first as he's taken down at the 33. We have a tie ball game, Phil, but this is a quarterback who has had it his way all day long, and he wants the football in his hands at the end. Oh, of course he does, because everything is going his way. When you see a quarterback this hot, of course we know he's not doing it all by himself. The offensive line, they've been outstanding, and the wide receivers, they are going and getting that ball. He's got the catch, and he's tackled. Game all tied up as time ticks away. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, and it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. The Raiders' defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. The Chiefs are a kick away from a field goal that would give them the lead here late in the game. Try. Yes, sir. They were thinking touchdown that entire drive, but in the end, they have to go field goal. They convert here in the closing stages. Well, I'm sure they would have loved to kick as time expired, but case good ball down the field, getting that field goal to put them ahead. And now the defense go out there and do your job. snap coming up let's see what they can do here Ellington is in the backfield Raiders have it for looking at finds his mark and he will not score this game is over it's hard to accept a loss within the division but that's the case for them today oh yeah you know first off you you play in your offseason and your football team around winning division games to lose uh, uh, to a team that you know, you don't even like that much either to begin with. It just makes it double, double, doubly worse.